What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect, man. I am back on this NBA Live 16. I'm in the live run lobby with the homie Nate D O Double G, man. Some of the old school Wolfpack members might remember this guy from NBA 2K11. This is none other than the Beast. And if you didn't see Wet Shot or you didn't recognize him, it's because the last time this dude was at Terminal 23, he made it rain. It was water everywhere. They had damage to the floors out here, so he got banned. He got banned from Terminal 23, so he had to come back in disguise. You see, he got the wig on and the, you know what I'm saying, the headband, the whole get up, man. Just trying to come out here and look like somebody different so we can get in this game and get some dubs. Look at this, though. We start the game off looking like we still got some of the chemistry that made us it back in NBA 2K11. Nice dribble drive by shot, dumps it off to the beast. The rest is history. Same way we used to do it back in the day, man. So our opponent's coming out, kind of attacking the basket a little bit. Kind of, you know, they should be regretting that. I don't know what the hell they was thinking about, but they came in the paint trying to get jazzy. Got that match dirty. We do have another user teammate, so, you know, we don't really know how he's going to play. Right there, he finds a wide open CPU player who makes the shot. We go up 4-0. So far, so good. But I want to talk about this guy in the afro wig, wet shot. This dude right here is it, man. Like, this dude is a beast. You see another good defensive stop from our team. I'm pushing the tempo, and I get it down low to the beast, who was a little slow to get it up. Missed the shot. The computer got it. Next thing you know, we turned the ball over. We back on the defensive end. Now, the beast, this was actually his first ever. Look at this shot. Yo, why do so many people get that contested shot to fall? I don't know, Jeffrey. Jeffrey be looking like, what the? I don't know, Jeffrey. But this was Nate's first experience with NBA Live. So this dude during the game would be like, how you do this? How you do that? How you pass? How you icon pass? So you're going to see, I think he threw a couple of alley-oops because, you know, on 2K, you push the icon button and then you, you throw to the icon. But on Live, you got to hold that button in. Hold on. Let, let me get Jazzy right quick. Oh, not the step back. Ah, let's get it, man. I had to get Jazzy right there. I just had to. So he kept trying to pass to me. Of course, I was B because I'm the shooting guard. But he wasn't holding down the bumper. So he would bring up the icons, let the bumper go, and push B. And he would throw an alley-oop. So, you know, we're going to get it under control, man. My man was a little rusty out here. But it didn't matter. He got wet shot with him. And that's really all you need at the end of the day. This team, our chemistry really wasn't it. You could tell it was some... It was some confusion. A lot of people would be behind the perimeter. It would just be, it was, it would be crazy. Right now, my teammate just threw the ball off the bottom of the rim. And, you know, luckily, the other team was having as many chemistry issues as we were. I thought that was about to be a backcourt. You know me, I was going to go off on Nate, pulling the three in transition, though. Let's get it, man. Three to the dome. Boop, boop, boop. Let's get it, man. That's Carmelo Anthony's celebration package, if anybody was wondering. For me, that's by far my favorite celebration. I, I don't know. I'm weird. I like that joint, though. But, man, our teammate at some point, he started to feel left out, and I could tell. Because when he would get the ball, he would just force it. Like, he would be trying to do a little too much. He just was a little too extra. He, he keeps trying to stunt. He's throwing alley-oops. They're not going so well. I kind of want him to just... You know, fall back just a tad bit. I promise I'm going to get you to rock. I won't ball hog. I just want him to calm down a little bit. He's making too many mistakes. He's playing a little too errant. Right here, though, our opponents struggling with the same issues we're struggling with. They turn the ball over, and my teammates on the receiving end of the easiest score of the game. Wide open, fast break dunk. It don't get no easier than that. We got him doubled up into this guy right here goes to the rack. Kind of banged on everybody. Did I get a piece of that? Was I dunked on? I don't know. I'm sure y'all will let me know in the comment section. 8-12 game right here. Your boy is wide open. Look at my teammate. He finds me. The shot goes up. Wet shot. Let's go. Three to the dome, baby. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go, man. I really like getting out here and turning up, man. 15 points is what we looking at. We're six points away from pay dirt, and you got to be careful because that's two shots for wet shot. That's two threes. Getting it down low to the big fella, though, you got to feed your bigs. Don't have them down there just crashing boards, getting rebounds, getting elbows, and then they can't make no baskets. Got to let them shoot. Got to give them the rock. Speaking of letting them shoot, man, I thought the computer played some pretty good defense on that shot, but you might as well let them shoot if they making those contested shots. Our opponent bangs the shot, hand in the face. I don't know who told the CPU to take that shot right there, but look at this, though. The Beast, that's when he was trying to pass to your boy. The Beast gets the offensive board accidentally through the alley-oop. That sounds funny, but hey, you know, it's a new game, new mechanics for him. Like I said, he'll get it ironed out. 
17-10. And my boy's still trying to throw them oops. Just turn down a little bit, teammate. Turn down. Right here. The Beast was giving him a pick. He had a great look. I guess he didn't really see what he wanted. He goes back to the paint. Gets it into the Beast. Too much traffic in there, though. That's not going to work. Just let the offense come to you, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Let it come to you. Dribble drive from my opponent. He gets all the way to the cup and blows an easy layup. I guess it wasn't that easy. It was contested, but he blows it. They get it to you, boy. This time, I decide to go to the basket with the Euro. I get that to go, and we are two points away from getting out of here. Wet shot is yet to miss a shot. This dude has been automatic. Great defense on that shot right there. We are two points away from pay dirt, and you guys already know I want the shot. I feel like I deserve it. My teammate takes a contested shot. I'm not going to bash him there, though. We've seen our opponents make contested shots this entire game. So, of course, he feels like they can make it. He can make it. But I'm just saying, though, you got a teammate over here shooting 100%. I'm batting 1,000. Let me get that. He goes for the oop. Can't get that. He gets his on board and brings it out. But look what happens. They trap him. They force him to pass. Wet shot is open for three. Game time. Three to the head. Boop, boop, boop. Get him up out of here, man. Get him up out of here. The Beast and Spade hooks up again. We haven't seen this matchup in mad long, man. But these two come together. They still got the chemistry that they had way back in the day. Wet shot with 14 points on 100% shooting. And I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.